Hi everybody and welcome back to another episode of Valheim. Yeah, we are now on episode 27. And we're busy getting preparing to build out our new base. Oh, pardon me. So in the last video I said we were going to start our base over here. Oh, now we've got hiccups. So I said we were going to start here, but I've actually gone and changed my mind, actually. I think, because it's still within running distance of where we want to be, we should maybe build our base up here. And instead of, like, building up, we just make, like, a, a moat around the base. So, like, we, we build it over here, basically. And I'm just digging out a, like a big hole. Just to create that, that bit of a barrier. It's just a thought, because basically, I'm still close enough to the, there to run. It's just, uh, I want to do a less, like, less effort, if I can say it like that. I think if I just dig like a big trench around the base, it'll be better than trying to reform the entire area. Because then it's just a matter of flattering, flattening out the surface and whatnot. So yeah, I think that would be a better plan. I'm just gathering out some stone. Because I will need a lot of it for this video. So yeah, I think let's do that. Instead of trying to build a wall, we'll dig a moat. And then we will pull it in basically. So, I still want to be close enough to that. So that I can farm these guys. Oh, nice one shot. Okay, so with that, let's take this stone that I've just picked up. <coughs> and let's get started. This even here is good. Let's just raise the one side. Instead of raising the whole place. That's just how my train of thoughts, I don't know. Yeah, I do want to take a forge with me. So what do we need? Need wood. Oh, we got a bit of stuff. Because I'm going to need to keep running back and forth to repair the pickaxe. But we're going to take this cart with... Because this cart is where we're going to load all the stone into as we dig. Yeah, it won't stop the 
like the, the flying invasions, but it will get rid of most of the landlocked ones. So yeah. Let's just place the cart here. There we go. So we can start here, work our way up to that, that lip. Like so. Also get a feel for what the direction that the land is lying. So like that. And then what I can do is I can just flatten the one side. It's this rock I want to smash. Because all we really want to prevent is the, like say, the trolls and the firelings, right? I don't even want to go so deep. It's like I just want to be able to stop them from getting in and out. That's like the primary goal. And then we will obviously flatten the Marsad that I'm going to be building. It's actually now a setting in the game that came out uh, the other day that removes the invasions completely. So, like, I don't even need to do what I'm busy doing, but I don't want to activate that setting. I want to play it as if I'm playing properly. Because like I said in the previous video, uh, I'm playing like a hardcore mode. So it's... We need a bit more space, I think. Yeah, I'm playing almost like a hardcore mode. And I can actually enable that setting, which will mean no portals, no nothing. Because that came in the, the recent patch. Which wasn't really an option before, but now it's a, it's a cool little feature, having that option. Oh, so now I'm going the same level. So, uh, okay, it's just the land raising itself up. Ah, that's perfect. Okay. 
Okay, let's do that one. Make that level, like that. And then we're gonna go this way. I'm also trying to keep the, as you can see, I'm going square with the actual layout of the game. Because if you don't, you'll find that it'll go a little bit like uh, wonky almost, I wanna say. But I really don't need to go so deep. But the land's gonna get lower as I go further along this way. As I said, this is purely just to prevent invasions. I need to repair my pick soon. Because as you can see, the ground in front of me is just getting lower and lower. But the actual trench is the same same depth. So what I'll need to do is, that's why I'm keeping all the stone that I'm gathering, is I'm going to need to come and raise up my side just a little bit. See, I want to flatten this whole section out. And I can't destroy that, but I'm going to incorporate that into my build. So. But I'm going to use this as my marker. <laughs> so this is why I was considering bringing the, the pickaxe, the forge with me. Oh, I can go sleep. That'll help a lot. Let's just hope it doesn't rain while I'm busy doing this. <laughs> so we're on day 49 of our playthrough. Yeah, we're making good progress. I have been wondering at, at points, like, hey, am I doing the right thing? See, the other nice thing about this trench, right? If I raise the land, it will be, like, a little bit harder to expand. But if I only dig a hole, I can fill the hole. Let's just kill this guy. Do not hurt my car.
cart. Or make me hurt my cart. I think that'll be a big enough square. No, I want to get a little bit bigger. I was going to use the card as my guard line, but... Like, I can fill this place up quite quickly. Yeah, let's go a little bit longer. Let's aim for the trees. Once we get to the trees, that's when we turn sideways. I've, I've never been one for small bases. So. Once you get to the trees, then we know. Yeah, there's, like I said, there's one stop the flying uh, invasions. But it will stop the other... Uh, eighty percent of them. And getting in and out of this type of base is also pretty easy. Because all we do is we make like a little jump bridge that's not quite connected. Uh, I wouldn't say a jump bridge, but you, kn you know what I mean. I'll show you when I get there. When I get there, it'll make sense. Let's put it that way. Okay. Uh, So this is where the land is starting to give way. I do want this more or less level as well. Okay. So, where is our cart? It'll be fairly big, eh? I think it'll be nice. Okay, let's destroy this thing because we're going to start going this way now. Probably going to have to clear some of these trees away in front of me, but it's fine. Also, this will be a nice like exit point for me to. Worst case, I fall in here. Let's just see, I'm getting quite a few messages. So yeah, let's just keep going. Like I said, I will need to uh, lift this up a little bit because I don't want mobs to be able to run up here. So like that. Mobs don't jump, obviously. But a troll could walk over that. So I'll just need to raise this up and lift it higher. Like that's now like the perfect height that I want to keep. Oh, now I went deeper. <laughs> I was watching the tree and know what I was doing. OK, 
Okay, so... I suppose one little deep pole is not a train smash, is it? Things are falling on my head, but yeah, we expected that. Uh, let's chop this tree down. I said one tree. Part is more or less here, so <coughs> pardon me. Uh, I need to know more or less where this line is to make it square. So if we just run this way, so if we come to Pass this, this thing. If we meet here, it's more or less straight. Okay. But uh, we've got our heading. It's not 100%, but. Okay, uh, he's going to be a bit of a hindrance. I would love to actually leave the rock, but. going okay we're gonna meet, have to make this piece just a little bit deeper But it's also because the land is moving slightly lower and higher. You can see it's no longer as flat as I was making it, but I can just go over, do a once over like that. Okay, we're almost at our goal of hitting the stump. Okay, that's the stump. Okay, let's jump out of here. Oh, very nice down. My sense of direction is way off here. Uh, let's do that. Can I carry this? Yes, I can. Uh, 
I'm going to rely more on the stone heading into the future, but... I just want to get a little bit of continue... continuity? Continue... ah, I can't pronounce the word. Sameness. <laughs> Okay, so we, we went all the way back to repair our pickaxe. Now I'm going to start from the other side and work my way down. See, I w it looks narrow. But it's more rectangular than square. But I can always like just fill in the hole and make it wider. Okay. We're heading this way. You can now see where the, the different uh, mesh lines sit. If you look at the two pieces of land in front of me. Always amazes me how they, they design these meshes. But not many games will allow you to actually do land reconstruction. So we're actually a little bit blessed with this. But I think that's also why so many people like Valheim, uh, the amount of freedom the game offers us. I know, that's why I like it. Yeah, I've played many a survival game where the ground hinders your building. And I'm actually primarily a builder. That's why I tend to, even in these videos, I tend to spend a lot of time, like now, we went back gathering for two episodes, took longer than I thought it would, but our goal was to get enough resources together so that we can build this section. It's looking pretty good. There's the stump in front of me. And I'm doing a pretty good job of sticking to the, the line of the map. Because if you miss the line, it makes the thing squiggly, like I said before. And then it doesn't look as appealing. But I've managed to keep pretty straight. That's why having a central point to focus on was so important for me. See, that's not good where this side is higher than that side, but I'm going to flatten it. Now I'm going a little bit deep here. 
I'm also trying to keep the, the depth the same the all the way around. It's proving to be a little bit challenging here. But that's because my left and right is changing sides. Here should be our, our point. There it is. Okay. Pretty nice aiming, if you ask me. Let's repair our stamina. Unfortunately, these bushes have to go. I would love to keep them because they actually bury bushes. We all know my obsession with bury bushes. Okay, so as you can see, this land is not 100% flat. But we're going to make it as flat as possible without going into the trench. Because what I can always do is I can always... Uh, sort it out in the trench. See, this is the hard part now. Not to mention it takes a while because of the stamina drain. But the, the clothes that came in this recent patch from the new vendor, uh, it actually fixes that. <coughs> to me, that looks like there's a bit of a gully here. Nope. See that? To me, this looks flat. But there, it's not flat. But that, there is a bit of a hill here, which we can clearly see. But the land doesn't need to be perfect. There's, to have a bit of raised and a bit of flat is quite decent. But I just want to get it as flat as possible. Okay, with it getting dark, I am going to call the video here. And I will continue to flatten out this land. Because it's mostly just this one piece here. And a little bit on the other side that we're going to sort out. And I shall see everybody in the next video. I just want to say thank you for watching. And have fun.